Audio Description 1, Kate Gray. Bournemouth University logo. Changing Attitudes, Kate Gray, a Paralympic perspective. Paralympic swimmer. The UK Disability History Month logo. Kate Gray, Paralympian athlete, has come to speak at Bournemouth University, providing her perspective on disability sport in support of Disability History Month and the university's outreach work. Kate speaks to an audience in a lecture theatre. I'm going to start my story from the beginning because I sort of feel like that's where you can get a real understanding of who I am and where I've come from. Um, I was two years old when I was silly enough to put my left hand into a sausage machine. Audience looks shocked. Yeah, most of the parents at this point wince because they just think, how on earth? Just to explain why I was near a sausage machine, I live on a farm. It's one of those really naughty two-year-olds that when your parents say, don't go near that, it'll hurt you. I go do it anyway because I think it'll be quite interesting, curious. Curiosity is probably my biggest issue. And um, that was about 20, over 20 years ago now, so I was two years old. And um, my parents believed that moment meant that was the end for me. They thought, she's only got one hand now. What's she going to achieve? Audience listens intently. I qualified for Beijing in 2008, and um, I actually went there as a bit of an underdog. I wasn't expecting to, to, to go there and win. Beijing was all about the experience for London because we knew we were going to have London 2012. That was the big goal for most athletes in Britain. I remember my first race in Beijing very well because it went perfectly. Walked out, saw the crowd, just took it all in, Dived in for my race, and when I say I'm in the zone, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're in that Usain Bolt moment where nothing stops you. Well, I dived in for my heat. Next thing I remember is touching the wall, look back at the scoreboard. My face was on the scoreboard, and I was like, oh my God, why is my face on the scoreboard? Turns out I'd won my heat, I'd done a four second personal best, and I'd qualified into the Paralympic final in second. People were cheering my name. Then there's this very quiet period when you walk from the race pool to the cool down pool. And, um, that little quiet moment was probably a bad thing for me because I realised that I was suddenly the one to be beaten. I was suddenly one of the favourites. And this pressure just hit me like I wasn't prepared for. Didn't eat, didn't sleep, didn't recover properly, didn't drink enough, came back for my final in the evening. And sadly, I missed out on qualifying for London 2012 by half a second, which actually, in racing terms, is quite a long time. But when you click your fingers, that's half a second, and that's how much I missed out by. And Right there and then, I hated sport. I thought, for 10 years of my life, I have given to sport. And what's it given me? Fifth place at a Paralympics, a few trips away abroad, but I've missed the one event that I wanted to be a part of. And I thought, actually, no. Sport has been the most influential thing in my life. Sport has given me the confidence to meet new people, to go to university, to represent my country and stand up to the people that say, you can't swim, you've only got one hand, you can't run or catch or whatever because you've got a disability. On a more personal note, off the back of London, I um, have continued to be involved with the media and with BBC because they also saw the light and realised people want to watch Paralympic sport and people want to see it on our TVs. And so they've now given me a role as sports reporter, leading Paralympic reporter, which means I get to go out and film these amazing people while they're training their asses off for Rio and make them household names. And I think for me, that is a responsibility I'm taking on board. It's a responsibility that you guys should take as well, whether you're following them on Twitter or you're watching them on the TVs or you're going to go buy tickets to see their next match or, or event that they're at. That's your responsibility. And sort of off the back of today, I hope you feel inspired. You feel like everybody can play a role, whether you've got a disability or not. Everyone has a role. And I'm doing mine. These guys are doing theirs by competing. And you can do yours by spectating, appreciating, and getting involved in different ways. To learn more about the dignity, diversity, and equality work at Bournemouth University, visit www.bournemouth.ac.uk forward slash diversity. To hear more about Kate, visit www.gwo.gl forward slash V capital JA752. On Twitter, Kate is at K-A-T-E-G-R-E-Y 25.